I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I think I legit made the best new sparking system bay, like stock wise. Yeah, even better than like Hyperion, and Hyperion is really good, but I'd say that this might be a lot better. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll take a look at it now, which this is Detonate Dragon. Uh, now, the layer is in the 2x4 shape, just like Hyperion, which probably m makes it really good at attack since it's like an oval and whatnot, but, um, yeah, it does use some pretty unconventional parts like these slopes right here, which I never see on a Lego Beyblade because, I don't know, people are just too afraid to convert to this. Now, you're probably wondering, how is this thing so good? Well, it has good stamina because it's round, good attack because it's ovular, and it has good attack with this point right here, which is like about a stud of recoil, which is pretty insane um, on this base specifically. But what really makes this thing good is when it awakens. It has these plates right here that slide on a jumper, which give it a lot more attack with this gap being visible. Bays can get like caught in this and it provides um, a good amount of recoil, but just enough so that it won't be like detrimental. Um, but other than the performance, this thing does pay homage to all of the dragons. Um, the centerpiece is from every dragon, mainly Tempest, because Tempest has the red sparking chip core. Um, these red streaks are like Ace Dragon. The basic shape of the bay is like Imperial. Um, it's a sparking bay, so I guess that's like Tempest. And the sliding blades is like Gatling. Um, and I will admit that this is a pretty mediocre awakening, but hey, it works. The chassis also makes this thing really good, which this is not 1A, this is 1A dash. Because 1A was just a bit too boring in my opinion, so I made a dash version. Now, what makes this interesting is that these points right here are very reminiscent of the Sting Disc from Ace Dragon. Because if we- if I can go down Right now, you can see it does kinda match up, like, that's pretty similar. And of course, the big blades are like the- uh, 1A chassis, so you have that. And finally, the driver is Spark, which is like a weird version of Charge, because it has no metal, but it does copy like the basic um, shape of Charge. I made it like that, and I didn't give it any metal, because if I did, then the center of gravity would be so low, it would just be very off balance and probably be pretty bad. Now, of course, you can orient the chassis into two different ways. We have like a normal way, and then we have this way, which covers up the recoil points and does make it a bit rounder, I guess, because it extends these parts out, so I guess it's rounder. And this is tornado mode, which tornado mode is like, you know, tornado stalling. This thing is a pretty good tornado staller from the, some of the tests I did. Um, so yeah, that again, well, just like the original new sparking system base. Uh, they have four modes. Um, we have, I guess, Tornado Mode, then we have, like, Tornado Awakened, and then we have Awakened Mode, Normal Mode, and then, like, yeah, just Normal Thing Mode, yeah. Um, but now we're just gonna do the test battles, and we're only gonna be battling it against Hyperion, because this matchup is so fun. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Of course, we'll start off with the test spin before we get into the battles. And you know what? It does look pretty nice while it's spinning. The colors just work really well, and I'm excited to do some more battles with this guy, because this might be my favorite bay I've made. Okay, let's start the battles again. I'm here, we'll start in normal mode. Okay, burst finished immediately, that's good. Another burst? Wow. Oh! Okay, Hyperion finally won. Jeez, that was such a hard hit. Oh my god. Bro, it just can't win. This guy's just too heavy. Um, but we are gonna switch modes. We're gonna switch this to tornado mode. And we'll also switch Hyperion to upper mode. And we'll have extended mode for the chassis, which I never use this mode. <laughs> but let's do it one once, cause why not? Oh my god, burst. 
Is that because the driver didn't... The, the... You know what? I guess, like, if any part, like, comes off of the bay, it counts as a burst. Because either way, you're not, like... It's not working properly, so... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> just got... Just flew across the stadium when it burst. That was funny. I thought that was going to be really hard, but I guess not. Dude, this is so much stamina, my god. Alright, so we haven't really seen this guy awaken, and it does work, it's just really hard to do it, but... Let's just say he did. Yeah. Oh my god, it just tore off one of the wings. Oh! Burst. Yeah, look at that, it just came off. These aren't the most sturdy things, but you know what? It worked. We're gonna do one last battle in Awakened and Normal Mode. Oh my god! It just died instantly, alright. I think that it's fair to say that this thing is really good. It has good burst resistance, surprisingly. It has good attack power, it has good weight. There's barely any downside to it besides it being uh, I mean it is fairly consistent so yeah this is probably the best bay um, I've made so far and uh, yeah if you like that video comment like, subscribe do whatever you want and I'll see you in the next video we're gonna do one last